So next is ASCII function. What does ASCII do? So each key in it, like uh, in the very basic computer courses, when you take, they tell you that each key has a special number assigned to it. That actually, when you press it, that number is called in the back end. So we can see all those numbers. And I think on Windows, they, they have a number as well like if a key is not uh, working you can type in that number and actually the, so that character will um, be printed on the screen for example if your a key is not working then there's a combination that you can press but that's a little bit different so ascii is just the that standard code behind that's uh, for all of them so i'm gonna go with i'm gonna show for example select ASCII for A. A. And let's see if we get a code. So the number is 65. What happens if I copy it and paste it a couple of times and change them to B? C. So let's run them together. If we execute it, you can see 65 is for A, 66 for B, and 67 is for C. Okay, so that's okay, but what about the lowercase letters? Is it the same? I'm gonna go with lowercase now A, B, C. So lowercase a is 97, lowercase b is 98, and lowercase c is 99. <coughs> so this is for the individual key. What will happen if we run ASCII against a name, for example, S name, Imran? So I can actually copy either one. Let's go, I am. I am not in. So it should give me an ASCII value 105. That's the ASCII value for this name. That's interesting. So what will happen if I apply ASCII on a full column? S name. Let's go with S name. Select S name and ASCII S name. Will it work? I don't know. I just want to see what does it do. It did. It's giving me a 105 for Imran for some reason while 97 we do know it's for the B or A. A is 97. So lowercase e I think. Let me check what lowercase i is. lowercase i is in 105 so that means that running this this ascii values is not for the whole name it's ascii values for the first character hope this helps and i see you in the next one